when you first came with this project, or you talked about it, yes, I thought that, oh no, not another <laughs> crazy project. That was my first thought. People are living too much in boxes today. But uh, when you're in a round house, it's, you can more be free in your soul and in your, uh, in your mind. I was drinking some uh, wine together with the mayor of Rust. And I asked if it was possible for me to buy the water tower for one crown. And he said yes. The tower was built in 1961. And uh, the purpose of the tower was to get all the people at this flat landscape, Rust, water. And, uh, but in 2002, they closed it because the water looked like coffee. Always blowing coal. Oh, it's blowing. When we are finished, we will sell it back to the people at Rust for one crop. The place should be a beautiful place for people that just need to go up there and, uh, and see the view, but also the insect. It's the inner view. It's a place where you don't pick up your phone. <laughs> I noticed when I've been inviting friends over that the whole experience is more intimate and the whole room kind of encourages social interactions in a whole different way. Living in a circular room, I think it's a very different experience. You have the absence of corners. I think all the energy gets intensified into one point. When you stand in the middle here, all the sound bounces off equally. And if I do this... Did you hear that? That's very weird. In the 90s, there were a lot of students looking for a place to live, and they managed to buy this uh, silo, but they were not allowed to take down the building. And, of course, the students love to see other spaces than the small boxes they were used to. So it became a, quite a hype to live in a round student house. I remember coming in here and everything was grey. I remember calling my mom and saying, eh, this is so cold and unpersonal, but that was a big focus of mine, to add a personal touch so that you get the ownership of your own home. I'm happy how it turned out. Welcome to Concilo. Most people are coming into the silo hall and then they, oh, everybody. <laughs> It's like to sleep in the bus. I think the idea of Silo is really nice because the name Silo is storage and then you storage arts here. Yeah. So yes. it's yeah. pretty like nice the concept. Kunst Silo is a transformed old grain silo from 1935. We repurposed the building to become a powerhouse for arts and events. The collections, color based, they are so good. Like the colors are in relationship to the nature and they are also direct to the emotions. You can see and feel it. <laughs> We've even had one wonderful man asking his wonderful girlfriend to marry just recently at the rooftop terrace. A museum has a commitment to be a place for the free expression and that's a part of our democracy and also for the society and development of the society, especially with the young people so they can express themselves and have courage to express themselves. We are in uh, 
Neptune, uh, herring company, or maybe something like that. The factory here was uh, built in 1910, and they produced herring oil and herring meal. And the smell was terrible. Yes, it was a very dirty job to, to wash the tanks, yes. The smell and uh, these uh, hair loose, loose rats are going here, pink. <laughs> <laughs> I think when people enter these tanks, uh, they, it's like to, to enter a dome or a cathedral. Uh, it's very interesting to listen to concerts here. So it creates a very different atmosphere because of the, the, the vibrations of everything. It's, you feel the music much more inside your whole body. You know, it has been 60,000 liters with water here. Yeah. And now we have given it a new life. And then people can look at it as it's something beautiful or something oh. useful. Oh. And you know, houses need people, people need houses. This Life on rust is so important to have here. And how can we make some more out of it? Small things that, oh yes, rust, yeah, you can visit the water tower in rust. Have you heard about the water tower? 